morning lads, 7 o'clock in the morning, a little bit cold, got myself a couple of hours again today, just nipped over onto the stables, I'm going to have a crack at the crows and the magpies, uh, bought a few eggs and things like that, just to put down, see if I can get a bit of bait down on the floor, see if I can get them to come in, I'll just turn the camera around a bit quick because there's half a dozen crows on the floor as we speak, there's absolutely hundreds of them down here at the moment. And there's a little bit just down to the left of me here where they seem to be congregating. It's just like a bare bit of earth. I'll just flip the camera around so you can see. Right down on this left side, I'll just zoom in a little bit. Just there, that dead tree stump and that patch of bare earth there. Just there, seems to be congregating the crows in massive numbers and I don't know why. There's obviously something there for them, or whether it's a lookout point. If I just scan across, you can see one there. But as we come, as we come a little bit further, there we go. There's a good few there, and that is literally a drop in the ocean to what was here a couple of minutes ago when I pulled up. There's absolutely loads of them. There's been a few magpies flying around. They were down there as well, by the old tree stump. What I'm going to do, I've got some camo netting, I'm going to get myself in this bush at the end. Give me a shot out over there. Probably looking at 35, 40 yards, but it's the closest I can get. Done a schoolboy mistake and forgot my gloves. Remember my head net, but gloves are missing. Hopefully the camo net will cover any bit of pink that might be showing. But we'll go and have a go at these. See what we can do. Speak to you later. As I say guys, I'm going to have a little bit of a, try and decoy some of these pigeons. So it's just this dead tree stump and this patch of earth here. Whether they've cleared it off, I don't know. As I say, but there is literally loads of them. Uh, to try and attract the magpies, old trick. Just some bits of silver pipe hanging on the barbed wire fences. Just there, as I say, magpies are uh, inquisitive. They do come and investigate anything shiny. There's also some old eggshells that I've put down on the ground there and I've scattered a little bit of bread etc. That should bring something in. As I say, they've all gone now obviously. They've spooked because I've seen me setting up the net which is right in front. I've got the sun behind me so it's absolutely perfect. If I can zoom in a bit. There's the net just there. I'm going to be behind that. I've got a good backstop with that bush. So hopefully Things should go to plan. Speak to you later. Just had one magpie drop in, but unfortunately, that's where the bait is, right behind them horse's legs. And he wouldn't move. Yeah, then another one come down to you. Hi lads. There is a magpie just there. So he's a good way off from where I am at the moment, but he's he's pretty much behind where I've set the eggs up and things like that. Hopefully he'll make his way over, and uh, maybe we can get a shot. It's a bit frustrating at the moment. There's a hell of a lot of birds around. The crows are all over the place. Uh, very wary though, as we all know. Um, I've seen one or two pigeons come down on the opposite side of the field. A uh, couple of more magpies. As I say, they, are, they do seem to be landing. Where I've got the, where I've got everything set up, just down there. They're landing a bit further down past that stump there, uh, in that bush at the bottom, it's about 110 yards from where I am at the moment. Um, I seem to be landing there quite regular, but they're a bit reluctant to make the way up. As I say, there's one that's made his way up, um, but he was too far at the time. Uh, he did he did up in range, but as I say, I moved the gun in the hide and he was off. Um, the same with three crows that landed. As I say, so whether they're 
see me move the gun inside the hide and I'm spooking them or whether they're just, you know, they caught sight of something else I don't know at the moment. Um, obviously I'll have to wait and see if another shot presents itself and if, you know, if that spooks as well then, you know, I'm going to put it down to me. Uh, the sun's come up a bit. It's still behind me. So that's uh, still good. And as I say, there's lots of stuff about. I'm just hoping that I can get a shot. My bum's getting a bit cold. Uh, I bought myself a little plastic bag with a bit of foam inside it, just to sit on. Does a good job, unless you're sitting there for hours at a time, obviously. Um, oh, there's a bloody crow sitting 30 yards away from me on the right hand side. Sitting on a pile of wash sheet, I'm going to see if I can take him. Alright lads, just had two massive crows land in the tree, well in the bush. About five yards past where I baited up. Uh, the one was totally obscured, right in the thick of the bush. The other one landed on the top, gave me a lovely shot. Got the gun out, got it settled, got the cross, got him in the crosshairs, that ain't spook. Absolutely fantastic. Took the shot, missed to the right. Um, so, sat here for an hour and a half. Uh, two shots, both missed. Uh, there's birds come in that I haven't got a shot at. Uh, just got out, double check the oid. Yeah, the oid looks okay, it looks good. The sun's still behind me, you can't see through it. And so I got a great backstop. Um, but I thought I'd better do a quick zero check. Um, I went up to the shed at the top, put a target out. Paced out 35 yards. Took the shot and I was shooting an inch to the right. Um, so another schoolboy error. Um, there's one for you. Always double check your zero before you get settled in your ride. So I forgot my gloves, I forgot my knife, my zero was out. Uh, I can't find my face veil, which I thought was in my pocket. Uh, and to top it all, I've just had a look in my pocket and I forgot my chin spikes as well, so if I do shoot anything I can't pick it up. All in all, just thought I'd show you a quick look at this. And so this wasn't here before the ferret boys came. Huge hole. We've got rabbit droppings, fresh rabbit droppings on it. I say they made a right dig there. As I say, that wasn't there before the ferret boys came. So I would presume that uh, they've moved the rabbits on. So it's still on my permission, still on my shoot. So all under these trees here. And up under that one. Cracking looking digs.